Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier and welcome to a video as part of the Joystick Binding series. In this series, I'm showcasing how some YouTube and Twitch content creators configure their dual joystick controllers. Today I'm posting up my own. Recently several citizens have asked me about my controller setup and the bindings. Hopefully this helps, let's begin. I think I have a fairly unique gaming arrangement and I also think that I've tried every single controller setup possible in the search for that one that suits me the best. I game standing up all the time. I don't even have a chair in the room and the desk does not transform for sitting. This is the only way that I can work or play for long periods and the streaming room serves as my office, studio, as well as where I game. It's most definitely not for everyone, but if you were thinking about standing, please make sure to have a professional anti-fatigue mat. There's no substitute for this and the mid-price mats are simply not the same. If you want a real understanding, go into a Walmart and stand on the mat in the vacant checkout. The desk height is set exactly such that my arms lay perfectly horizontal when using a mouse and keyboard. I have a custom left-handed Warthog and a standard Warthog on the right hand. They're attached to the desk with a pair of Monster Tech mounts. The mounts allow me to precisely set the height of the controllers firmly in place and also allow me to stow them away when they're not needed. As I said, I was transitioning through many controller types and right before I switched to Dual, I was running a Hotas with pedals. Because of the time that I invested in practicing with my Hotas, the current bindings that I have were the most similar when I made the switch. My left stick is set to Y for thrusters front and back and X is yaw. Notice that I said thrusters and not throttle. There's no Z or twist axis on the Warthog as it's a replica. My right stick is set up like an airplane. Y is pitch and X is roll. I have up, down, left, right set to my right thumb switch and during combat, I'm always using it. I consider this configuration fairly exotic. It works very well for me, but its effectiveness has some pretty big drawbacks. It's actually very intuitive to use, but it doesn't offer the user any fine control over two transitional axes. Let's break it down. Because I use voice attack, it doesn't require me to remove my hands from any control device to perform any operations. If you're a new pilot considering testing out dual stick, this is not my recommended star state. The cost is simply horrific. The monster tech mounts are about 200 bucks plus shipping and then there's the custom work to convert to a left stick. Let's just say that it's about $1,400 all in. I need to throw this out there. Normally the goal of dual stick is to get six degrees of analog control. As I said, after all this custom work, I still rely on an all or nothing lever for up, down, left, right. I only use them during dogfighting and I use them to make myself a harder target. Before committing, I realized that I only ever use maximum in these axes, so I'm fully happy with this minor limitation. I hope this quick overview gives you some suggestions on how you might configure your own sim pit. A very special thank you to the community for pushing me beyond 15,000 subscribers. It actually means the world to me that the community engages in discussions because of these videos. Please like and subscribe to help me get the word out about Star Citizen. My goal is to grow this channel and I can't do that without the help of citizens like you. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.